Okay, right, on to a painting project. Now, I know some of you are very excited because next week when we have the painting pickup, we are also having a painting class, an in-person class out on the patio, weather permitting. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what we do if weather doesn't permit. Maybe we could go into the new building garage or something <laughs> or put the gazebo up outside and we'll huddle underneath it, safely distanced, of course. Anyway, this is your flamingo painting that we will be doing. You look, may look at it and think, oh my gosh, I don't think I can do it. But yes, you can, because it really is fairly straightforward. Okay, we have several colors that we're using. We've got some shades of pink and some shades of sort of blues, aquas, that sort of thing. First thing you're going to do is do your you can use a pencil to do your outline for your flamingo. If you do use a pencil, this is just a regular HB pencil. These have hard lead. If you can use like a, a 2B pencil, it's a much softer lead specifically for art. Um, it won't dig in, it won't leave, you'll be able to erase it if you need to cover it a lot easier. So, I will let you pencil in. I'm not giving you a template because all we have really is a circle in the middle. We've almost got like an S going here. So we're just gonna curve around and then come up and meet the back of your S there. And then you've got just a straight leg there. You're not having to do little toes or whatever webbed feet because he's in the water or she's in the water. All you have to do is make sure you get the knobbly knee bit. Okay, so do your basic outline lightly. Then what you're gonna do, oops. What I did is I took a very soft blue. This is blue cotton. And I just went ahead and using a larger brush, something like this even, and just completely cover everything around the flamingo with the soft shade of blue. Once you've done that, then you can get to work on, you can do it one of two ways. You can either start doing your background or you can do your flamingo. Personally, I went ahead and did my flamingo got that done just how I wanted it, and then I worked on the background. So for your flamingo, this area here is gonna be a darker shade of pink. So this is a fuchsia, and this is bright magenta. Fairly similar. <coughs> Excuse me. You can go ahead and fill in this whole area with the darker shade because then you can come in over top with the paler pink to give your contrast. You can use the paler pink. Some of the pale pink will blend with the wet darker pink and give you another shade of pink. Then you can come in with some white and you can do some fine lines on here. You just keep doing it until you're happy with it. When you look at it, it may not be precise. If you look closely here, you can actually see the texture of the canvas through this. Don't worry about that. You just have fun with it and just do a little here and a little there. When you do that, you're going to use a smaller brush. So you'd use something like this. This has got an angle on it. And you would just do this. You're just going to sweep it and curve it. Just like that. Using the different colors. Keep pulling from the colors until you're happy with it. Okay? Now even over here on this section, 
You can brighten this up in areas. You can add a little contrast, little highlights here by taking just an, the brush that you've been doing the lighter shades with. You could go into here and it will blend it in a little bit, but it won't blend it completely. So you just keep doing that. The neck is the paler pink for the most part. And then you're going to come in like we do with our shading. If it's away from the sun, if it's, it's going to be shaded. If the sun's shining on it, it's going to be lighter. So away from the sun, darker. Closest to the sun, it'll be lighter. So we assume that because this bird is standing in a pond, the sun, oh, <laughs> the sun is shining down on top of it. Okay, so up here, you can add a little white. And then here on the top of this part of the neck, the sun will hit that. So you can add just a little. You're not going to completely fill it in with white. You just put a little bit here and there. And then on the underside of this, you can add the darker pink. It's going to be darkest around here because that's where the neck and the head join. So that's going to be the most shaded area. Okay. Then the face is white. You take your pale pink and you blend that in around the edges. And then you just use black to do a circle for the eye with a little dot in the center. To make a dot in the center, the easiest thing to do is to take the end of your paintbrush, dip it in the black paint, and dip it in the center there. That will give you a perfect dot. The beak is black. I didn't worry about putting any contrast on it or anything. Just leave it solid black, that's fine. So once you've done your flamingo and you're happy with it, um, your leg, pretty much the same thing. It's just the different shades of pink. You're going to have some darker pink in there and some lighter pink. And then you will move on to the background. So your background, like we said, you've got, you've already got your base coat on like this. Then you're going to move in with some other shades. Here we have a, an Atlee colored paint, Key West, this one. Then we have Caribbean. And this one is Laguna. So these three, you take a brush that is about this width, because as you put the paint on, it will spread a little to the sides. So this would be sufficient. You'll have the different shades of blue and then you just keep taking the different shades. Down here it's going to be darker because you're closest to the water and you've got the, the shade from the bird. So you use your darker shades down here. You can still put them up here though, but you're going to add a lot of other colors up here. So we just take one color at a time and we just, just keep doing little dashes all the way over. Okay, completely do it. Then you'll take another color and you come in. It doesn't matter if it overlaps. You just keep doing that. Then take your next color, same thing. Take a little of the pink. I think that gives it a nice touch if you take some of the paler pink and you can put the odd one here and there of the paler pink. White, come in with some white then that way you're picking up colors that are in the bird as well. Down here, I just tended to stay with the darker, the Laguna, and I did add some of the Key West. You can even take the Key West or the Caribbean one, and you can pretty much fill the entire area in just to darken that background up a little bit, and then come in with this darker shade of Laguna and do your little brush strokes. Okay, 
So that's pretty much it. I know you can do it. Take your time. Don't panic. As long as you've got your outline on there, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. This is your piece of art and you do it how you see fit. If you don't want to use the colours that I've used, you don't need to. Just remember that you'll need at least three shades of blue and three shades of pink, but whatever your colour combination is. So you'd need threes and threes, okay? And then finish it off, take a picture and send it to me. You can either send it to me at julie at meadreads.org or you can send it to Brenna at Brenna at meadreads.org so that we can see how your paintings turned out. Have fun! <laughs>